Spring is an exciting time of the year that can bring new birds to your backyard, as well as new songs and calls that you may not be used to hearing. Here are 30 spring bird vocalizations to listen for and how to learn them. Keep in mind, birds make many different sounds that can be highly variable, and that we'll only be going over a few of the common ones. Additionally, this video is directed mostly at those in the central and eastern United States. If you don't hear a specific song or call you're looking for here, make sure to check out our other video about 25 common backyard bird calls. Now let's get into it. To start off, we have the indigo bunting, which sounds like it's saying fire fire where where here here. The white-throated sparrow song is one of the most recognizable sparrow vocalizations, and sounds like it's saying, Oh, sweet Canada, Canada. During spring, red-winged blackbirds can be very noisy, and one of their songs sounds like they're saying, Conqueree! Next up, we have the song sparrow, which will often perch up and sing. And their song is similar to maids, 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 put on your tea kettle, addle, addle. In the spring, when northern flickers are establishing territory, they have a loud rolling laughing song. Additionally, you may hear a sharp, clear call. The rose-breasted grosbeak has a very pretty melodic song that can sound similar to cheer up, cheerily, cheerio. In addition to their song, they very often make a chink note that's very distinctive of the rose-breasted grosbeak. The Ruby Crown Kinglet song starts with some light high notes, then accelerates into a musical twittering, and ends with a few loud notes. The Chipping Sparrow song is a chipping trill with varying tempo and may sound insect-like or mechanical. Next up is a large sparrow called the Eastern Tohi. One of their songs sounds like they're saying, drink your tea. The White Crown Sparrow song starts with a whistle then sounds jumbled, and normally ends with a buzz or a trill. The yellow rumped warbler song is a trill that has two parts, a 2 2 2 2 section and a 2 2 2 section at the end. Although American robins stay year-round in some places, many people still think of them as a springtime bird, and one of their songs sounds like they're saying cheer up, cheer up, cheerily, or variations of that. One of the Eastern Bluebird songs sounds similar to Cheer, Cheerful Charmer. Chimney swifts may make fast twittering notes when flying overhead. These notes may also be spaced out, and I think they can sometimes sound like laser fire. Although northern cardinals may be in your yard year-round, they may be singing more in the spring. One song to listen for sounds like cheer, 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 purdy, 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 purdy.
Another one to listen for is one that sounds like what cheer, what cheer, 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 cheer. The Baltimore Oriole makes flute-like whistles that can sound similar to here, here, come right here, dear, with them spaced out in different ways. Dark-eyed juncos sing a musical trill that almost has a flutter to it, similar to the Chipping Sparrow song. The brown thrasher sings a variety of mockingbird-like phrases that are very melodic and are sometimes compared to drop it, drop it, cover it up, cover it up, pull it up, pull it up, or variations of this. Aptly named, the Eastern Phoebe song sounds like it's saying, Phoebe. The Golden Crown Kinglet makes very high CCC vocalizations. The common yellow throat sounds like it's saying witchity 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 witchity. The brown headed cowbird makes a variety of vocalizations, but one of them sounds like bubble bubble z. The Eastern Meadowlark song sounds similar to a slide whistle, or a mnemonic device for it is it sounds like, but I do love you. Blue-gray gnatcatchers make a variety of vocalizations, but I can normally pick them out by their nasally staccato notes. The Scarlet Tanager song is similar to that of the American Robin, and some people say it sounds like they're saying different words like hurry, worry, blurry, flurry, blurry. The Hermit Thrush song is very ethereal and sounds similar to why don't you come to me? Here I am right near you. The tree swallow vocalizations are very high pitched and can be composed of a chirp, a whine, and a gurgle in various patterns. Although you may have chickadees in your yard year round, during spring they make their signature springtime call that can sound like cheeseburger. The house wren has a very distinctive song that I would describe as a gurgling musical trill. The gray catbird song is similar to that of the brown thrasher, or northern mockingbird, with a variety of noises mixed in. Normally phrases are not repeated, like they would be in a mockingbird or a thrasher song. Additionally, gray catbirds do actually make a meow sound, as heard in the background of this recording. Have you heard any of these birds in your yard before? Let us know in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button to help our content reach even more people.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Thank <laughs> you.